and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you found me. And if you're returning, I'm so grateful you've decided to come back and watch more. I love all things luxury. I love luxury shoes, I love luxury handbags, luxury lifestyle and vlogging. And if they're things that appeal to you, I hope you'll do me a massive favor and hit that subscribe button down below. Hitting that subscribe button costs you absolutely nothing and means an awful lot to me. So I hope you'll help me out. Today, we're going to unbox my newest uh, small leather good from Louis Vuitton. Um, it is the Lisa wallet spoiler alert um and i bought it for a specific purpose so i have seen it floating around online um there's been a couple of other youtubers so isabel styles i think did a video on why she returned it and why she didn't like it um but it actually I, when i looked at it i thought that is perfect for what i want it for so let's unbox it and have a look at it and i'll tell you my rationale behind why i got it so we have our Louis Vuitton box. I have not seen this in person yet. I haven't opened it since it arrived. I went into store and they didn't have any um, and they had to order it in for me. So then they just sent it out to me. So let's open it up. And dust bag. We open it. So this is the new Lisa wallet. So it hasn't been out for very long at all. And if we open it up, mine is in the pink interior. It also comes in a lilac interior and I'll insert photos if I can get them off the website and a green interior. So my understanding is there are three colors, pink, purple, green. Um, I do like the purple, the lavender color also, but pink, it's me. It has to be the pink. So I got it in the pink. So you can see it has the ring pull with the LV on it just there. And if we pull out, we have the cards, care cards. And if anyone is interested, this is the product code for mine with the pink. And you can see you've got your um, coin slot there. So this is not a terribly big wallet. It is actually a very compact wallet. For me, it's tiny. Like this is not a day-to-day -day wallet for me. It doesn't carry enough cards for me to have it as a day-to-day -day wallet. So there are four card slots, one, two, three, four, and then you have slots on either side. Now look, at an absolute stretch, I could use it on a day-to-day -day basis, but it would literally be a stretch in that I am stretching the leather on this with the amount of cards that I carry on a day-to-day -day basis. So I would never use this on a day-to-day. -day. However, I am about to go overseas, as you are all sick of hearing about, and I still have five weeks till I go. <laughs> um, so I am about to go overseas. When I travel, it is the only time that I carry cash. On a day-to-day -day basis here in Australia, I don't carry cash. I don't remember the last time I carried cash. I'll get cash out for a specific purpose, like my cleaner who comes once a week. She's cash-based. So once a week, I go to the ATM, I get the money out for her, I bring it home, I hand it over. Cash gone. Simple transaction. But on a day-to-day, -day, I do not carry cash. Haven't since before COVID. So once COVID hit and cash was like a oh, thing, um, I stopped carrying it. And I've just never gone back. I don't use it. Everything here in Australia is tap and go. So for those of you who aren't from Australia, tap and go is you've got your little card and on the FPOS machine, when you go to check out, you can literally just tap your card or your phone because your cards are on your phone and off you go. It's paid for. You don't even need to produce the card if you don't want to because the cards are probably on your phone. So that's how we live life here in Australia. Everything is just tap your card or your phone and go. We don't put cards in slots anymore um, unless we're going to an ATM for a specific purpose. We don't, we don't, we're just a cashless society these days. The other day I got a check at work and I was like, what is this? What is this check that somebody has sent me? Checks are on the way out in Australia. They will not survive. I, I will be very surprised if they survive my lifetime. They're, go they're gone, all right? Checks here in Australia do not exist. Checkbooks aren't a thing. We don't use them. And it's a really simple system of paying for things here. So there's no reason to carry cash. Little lesson about Australia there. 
So anyway, so I don't carry cash in Australia. I just carry cards with me. But when I travel, it is the only time that I carry cash. For whatever reason, I am cash based in another country. It helps me keep track of the currency conversion. Um, I know that if I've already changed money, then that's how much money I'm spending. I don't have to track um, transactions through my bank account and be looking at how much is coming out. I paid that for it. But then when we do the conversion and then when they add on their fees, it's going to be this amount. I get, I, it really is quite overwhelming. So I like to change cash when I go overseas and I'll carry um, a, a certain amount of cash in my wallet with me at all times for things like cabs, if I've got to catch a cab, um, for drinks, for coffee on the go, for lunch, all those kind of things I will do through cash transactions when I travel as opposed to here where it would all just be cut, tap, 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 paid. Like, I don't have to worry about it. Um, so that's the only time. When I went to New York last year, I got out cash and the only wallet I had that really took cash that was small couldn't deal with the amount of cash that I was carrying. That wasn't because I was carrying huge amounts of cash, but in the United States, you have $1 bills. So like sometimes you can have a water cash and it's like 30 bucks because they're all $1 notes. Here in Australia, our small, smallest note is a $5 note. We go to coins for $2 and $1. So that's where our little coin slots come in. And while I'm traveling to the UK and Europe, they're very much the same. They have coins and then they have bigger denominations of um of notes. So I know that's going to be the case. So I thought this wallet was going to be perfect for travel. I think it's perfect because of the size. It is only quite small. It will still fit in my bags. So I'm going to do a whole video around what bags am I taking with me. And I will use this wallet as an example in each of those bags. So you can see how it fits, but like for a mini rectangle Chanel, no worries, it's going to fit. Um, for a baguette, it will fit. Um, it will fit in pretty much all my bags that I am likely to travel with. So I thought it was perfect for that. And because it has a fairly substantial cash slot in it, and it's got the coin section, and it doesn't, it only is a bifold, it's not a trifold, so it can deal with a few notes and not have any issues. I thought it was going to be perfect for that. The wallet I took to New York was a trifold, and because of the sheer number of notes and trying to do it up, it, it didn't it didn't travel well like it came back and it's in one piece but it's it's been sitting in the drawer ever since because I feel sorry for it because it got so abused in New York so yes that is why I bought this one if you have less cards that you carry every day then this would be a great daily wallet I mean it will fit everything in it but I have like you know my health um, insurance card my medicare card you know my license i've got a petrol card i've got credit cards i've got debit cards i've got business cards i have all the cards there are many cards in my life um so it's just not big enough for that um but for travel i think it's going to be perfect and i'll let you know how i go when i get back from overseas and if that's actually worked out or if it was another massive fail for me but i just i looked at it and i went you'd be great for travel. Um, it's also canvas, so it's going to wear really well. And it's got the beautiful pink interior. Who doesn't love the pink interior? The purple is also very nice. Um, and if I needed more than one, then I'd get the purple as well. But yeah, pink for me all the way. So yes, this is the new Lisa wallet. Um, it's beautiful. I am. Um, it's super simple. Nothing out of the ordinary there. Canvas on one side, pink on the other side, and you've got your zip pocket there really basic wallet from Louis Vuitton, but I think it's going to need, meet my needs perfectly. Fingers crossed, hey? Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed this is now my travel wallet. So yeah, that's my rationale about why I bought it. And can I just say the press stud's really good, like it, it holds really well. Anyway, side note. <laughs> so yeah, so that's why I bought it and why I think it's going to be perfect for me. I know other people have looked at it and sent it back. Isabel from Isabel Styles did. Um, she didn't like um, the tassely bit. 
I'm fine with it. Um, it might annoy me after a while. Once again, I'll let you know if it does on my travels, if that has annoyed me. Um, but I think I'll be fine with it. I don't think I'm going to have an issue. And each to their own. Everybody, um, you like things or you don't like things. That's what makes us all different and fabulous and wonderful. So, yeah, I think it's going to work really well for me. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. And if you think this is going to be a great travel wallet or not. Or have you bought it and you really love it? Or you have you bought it and you really hated it? Let, let me know because I'm interested to hear other people people's thoughts on it um because yeah there's not a lot of um information out there on the internet about it so yeah that's my new wallet <laughs> If you've liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. It means a lot to a content creator when you hit that subscribe button. Please also hit the little bell notification so you know when I've uploaded videos, which is usually three times a week. I'll also throw my Instagram handle for you so you can come follow me over there. I put lots up in real time, lots around my day-to-day -day life and my collection and coming very soon, my travels. So please come follow me over there. I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are having a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.